Hi, and welcome to the section 3 of our course, Website and Web Application Attacks. In this section, we are going to take a look at vulnerabilities in web application and how to find it, learn most dangerous types of attacks against websites and web applications, get practical experience with effective tools to attack, provide a few attacks imitation against our target machine. We'll be exploring target with browser. So, in this video, we will learn how to look for logins and passwords, getting important information with Webalyzer, taking out hidden files to get secrets. Maybe you'd like to ask me. We've got a plenty of wonderful tool included in Kali Linux, so why should we use a regular browser first? The answer is we should always find the easiest and the fastest way to our goal. And sometimes using just browser can give us tremendous results. Let's go and see it. I've got my Metasploitable running as my target machine and my Kelly as a tagging machine. So, in our Kelly browser, let's go to Metasploitable machine. Type its address here. Here we are. And now let's go to multi day application. And the first step when you are trying to find a vulnerability in a website is to view its page source. For this purpose, just right click and choose View Page Source. And what is to look for? We are looking for such kind of nodes. Because very often a developer can write down the password and username right here in the HTML code and forget about that. We can see this vulnerability here. Because it's special applications for training security skills, it describes how a developer can do such a mistake in details. As you can see, if an attacker is lucky enough to meet such a mistake of a developer, he don't need to try to break into a set any longer. Everything for him to do is just uh, copy-paste the password and username and get inside to the target asset. For the next trick I'm going to show you, we need to install an application. The application is called Webalyzer, and to install it, let's go to our browser's add-ons, then choose extensions, and here find Webalyzer. That's the name of the application. Click here. Let's install it. Yes. And now we've gotten it installed. Now let's check out how we can use it. For this purpose, let's come back to our multi day application. And as you can see, here an icon of Webalyzer appeared. When we click on it, we can see the technologies used for building this application. What use can it give to an attacker? That's very easy. All a hacker needs to do is just to take the name of the version and try to find vulnerabilities in Google. Let's have an example of it. We've got here a web server Apache 228. Let's try to find a vulnerability for it. So I type Apache. And here you are. You can see a lot of vulnerabilities. So everything you need to do, just choose a vulnerability and try to use it with suitable Kali software. And the third step we should make before going to Kali Tools is finding file robot.txt. For this purpose, just type it here. Click Enter. And here we've got this file. This file contains information that an owner of the site wants to keep hidden. Here we've got very vulnerable application for training purposes. So we can see here a lot of information that a hacker can be interested in. For example, here is password directory. Let's go and see what we've got there. Great! We've got here a text file. Let's open it. And wow! We can see here usernames and passwords. So we can take it and try to break into the site with its help. Another interesting file we can find here it's config inc. So let's copy it and move there. And here we can see the node. The db user name is root 
and DB path is blank. So all you need to do, just use this username and bingo, you can get inside the database. Of course, now we deal with very vulnerable application that is supposed for training purposes. In the real world, most of sites are protected much more better than this one. But despite of this, you can find many sites with vulnerabilities of such kind. That's because their owners or admins ignore security rules. They don't want to take into attention that ignoring security rules actually is invitation for a malicious hacker to break into their asset. So in this video, we found out how to look for logins and passwords in page code, learned how to get important information with Webalyzer, discover how to take out hidden files to get secrets. In the next video, we'll be scanning web application with OWASP ZAP. Let's move ahead.